Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma. Beside me is my husband Ash and our children Minky, Dave, Cookie and Tiny Teabag. This is my identical twin sister Suze. We speak a lot about her and we vlog our daily lives here. Thank you for joining us. Hmm. It's now Sunday afternoon. I don't look quite as glamorous as I did yesterday. Uh, Ash is still at his training course on camp and I had a decent sleep, woke up with a banging headache. It's the Prosecco on a bottomless brunch. I knew I shouldn't have drunk that. I should have stuck to lager. And but I, I haven't been out for such a long time. But it's it's a crisp day, quite cold, about nine degrees. But I filled up the outdoor hutches with warm cozy straw and munches and I put the babies out because they didn't go out for the last couple of days with it being really wet and horrible so they're having fun outside dog is curled up asleep with me I've put a load of washing on and I've turned the heating on I've turned the heating on guys I like to hold out for as long as I physically possibly can. Um, and I'm also one, I, I just, I would also sleep with the window open all year round. And even in winter, as long as I'm snuggled under the duvet. But Ash gets really cold. I'm the warm one, he's the cold one. And uh, he'll be quite thankful that I've put the heating on today. I've only put it to like 18 degrees to just take the edge off and actually see if the boiler and everything still still works. So hopefully it will. And I'll only keep it on for a little while, an hour or two. But yeah, really enjoyed the weekend. Sorry for the couple of days MIA. I just needed a I just needed some time to do nothing. And I was seeing my friends and Time got away with me. <sighs> so, I wish that I could, like, get a big fat doner kebab <laughs> and get it delivered, but no kebab shops open till, like, 5pm. Um, or Chinese takeaways or anything like that. But, you know, I think someone's missing a the trick there. Because the, the hangover people would... A lot of a lot of them would just absolutely love a big doner kebab at nine o'clock in the morning. I know I would. But I think Ash wants the Chinese takeaway, so I will order that when he gets back to me. Tells me what he wants. Oh god. And I just oh, I'm just saying I've just discovered just eat. But I know that there are places that will deliver like um takeaway sort of meals on just eat at this sort of time in the day but I'm gonna wait for Ash to come in so yeah mm, not my best guys <laughs> but it was such a good night um the sax player was great the personalized photo um selfie booth that Kara ordered was great we had so much fun with that and my feet didn't hurt too badly with those skyscraper gold heels on. I'm just enjoying some peace and quiet.
the woolly hat's out. It is woolly hat weather. The heat is on, the heat seat's on. It is blooming freezing. Me and Ash had a lie in this morning. And it's now, it's half nine. And I've only just done my first client. That's unheard of. We normally walk the dogs by like half six, quarter to seven. And then we're out working. But no, we needed a we needed a break. He's had a busy weekend. I had a busy weekend. <laughs> um, yeah, feeling bright and breezy this morning. Not too, not too bad. Considering, um, Susie's told me she sent me a little list of the YouTube um, programs that for me not to watch. Save them for tomorrow, so that we can watch them together. And I think we've got the last episode of My Mum, Your Dad to watch, which uh, will be good. I think, I don't think we finished it. No, I don't think we finished it. So yeah, I will try and stay happy and bright and positive today. And I've got a cheese, Dairyly cheese strip um, to munch. And I will see you all whenever I pick up my camera next. I can't believe I forgot to show you this. Quite a while ago, one of the our lovely subscribers, Sue, sent me a little video of her doggies watching my vlogs on telly with Minky and Dave in it. And they're going mad. And I said to her, can I please um, use the clip to show everybody? And she said, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to insert that clip here of her doggies watching my doggies. It is so cute. And I wonder if any of your animals do the same when you're watching my vlogs. Um, even when I watch my, my vlogs back sometimes, Dave Dave will go mad and watch himself on the telly or, or Minky. And I'm like, it's your Auntie Moo Moo. Oh, it's you. And he's like, oh my God, I'm going to get that dog on the telly. And he, I don't know if he realises it's him or... But yeah, it's so funny. So I'll insert that clip now for you to all have a giggle on a Monday morning. Okay, everybody, I've just got in from work, so I'm just waiting to get a shower and everything. And um, I got this parcel through the other day, but I need to show you all. I will be doing a review on it once I've used the products, but they kindly gifted me um, some of their products. I'm going to test them out, but I'm going to show you what they are now. And then over the next week or so, I will wear them every day and let you know what I think. So, it's from Honey Balm. And if you've been on Facebook or Instagram, so I've seen these all over social media. So I've got Honey Balm Original Honey Infused Lip Balm. They've sent me two strawberry infused lip balm, lip balms, and a chocolate infused lip balm. So, these have the most lovely natural ingredients to keep your lips hydrated and soft, especially through the winter months we're out all day working. So having something like this, but do you know what the cutest thing is? It comes with a little bee honey stirrer dropper to put on, put it on your lips with, which I just thought was just so cute. That's the little honey stirrer. How sweet is that? Okay, so some of the ingredients in these lip balms. So I've just got you balanced on my bed <laughs> at a very horrible angle, but who cares? Uh, propolis, natural remedy for treating wounds and skin issues, uh, produced by bees, known for its healing properties, potent antibiotic. It's soothing. 
antiseptic and protects your lips uh, beeswax vitamin E collagen so some really lovely ingredients in in these lip balms oh that smells divine and then look the little stirrer It already feels really, really nourishing, like like a lip oil. So yeah, I'm gonna test those out. Thank you so much, Honey Balm, for sending me them. I cannot wait to try them all. I'm gonna put my little applicator back in. And that's so nice just to put in your bag, carry around. I'll keep one in the car, one in my bag, one in my handbag. Oh, it's so, it's not sticky, it's feels and smells and tastes great already. So yeah, thank you Honey Balm, I will let you know how I get on. Ash has just got out of the shower, he's ready to go to cadets in a bit. The sun is shining still, but it'll be dark in the next hour or two I think. And... I spoke to Suze today, she's having a really tough time of it today, there's a lot of tears on the phone, but um, I'm going to be there tomorrow and I'm going to cheer her up, no matter what. Um, we've got stuff to watch on telly, um, I'm also going to discuss um, her coming to stay with me a bit, it's our birthday on the 2nd of November and I really want to try and get Suze here because as you all know, there's no bath at hers, even, you know, they did buy like a um, portable bath, but it's it's an effort to fill up and wash out and mess about with. And it's just, it's just not right. She can't keep, it's just not right. I want, I want her to, to come and snuggle in, in bed with me here. I shall sleep in the spare room um, and she can have a big bubbly bath two, three times a day if she wants and um, hopefully that'll all work out and she can come and stay with me for a bit. Oh, hello, handsome. Oh, hello. <laughs> He's in his army gear. Oh. Um, so, yeah, I I just can't wait to see her tomorrow and hopefully try and discuss lo the logistics of getting her to mine. You know, it's as you all know, it's quite a big drive, but... I, the service stations I can stop at if needs be. I'll get some some duvets in the back of the car so she can lay down if she needs to. Um, and we'll we'll figure it out. But same old routine, guys. If you've been watching for a long time, tomorrow we'll be up and at um out to work. Then I'll be driving to York to stay with Susie until Thursday. And. Yeah, just go from there and hopefully, hopefully everything will be okay. She's not had another bleed again, so that's, that's, that's something. You've just got to take every day, every day. you just got to take every day as it comes. But this is the end of the video. I love you so much and I'll see you all in the next one.